Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom. Uh, today's is uh, from, it was sent on April 27th, and I quote, Heaven and hell exist in the same world we live in. The other world coexists with this world because our inner worlds are connected to the invisible world from the essence of Buddha by Master Yuho Okawa. Thank you, Master. All right, so heaven and hell exist in the same world we live in. Um, our minds are truly mystical things. That's what Master has taught us. Our minds are so, it's like the mind is like the core centerpiece of our souls. And it's such a mystical thing because uh, whatever it thinks, it's automatically already connecting to the same wavelength, uh, the same kind of world in the spirit world. So let's say that you have an angry heart. Let's say you get really furious. What occurs is that that instant, your mind already is in hell or hell is inside your mind and it's connected. Or let's say that your heart is filled with what's the opposite of anger, peace of mind. Let's say that it is very calm and peaceful. Then that means your mind is already in a heaven of a peaceful, a place, a peaceful place in heaven or that heaven is already inside your mind. You instantaneously connect to that world. And that is how the mind works. And this is actually a key factor to figure out whether you will end up in heaven or hell after death. What you think is who you are. And after we die, it means that this physical body stops functioning, but our souls leave the physical body and it returns to, um, a specific a specifically designated place for your soul and that specifically designated place is decided based on your own thoughts so if you have a good heart you will return to the heavenly world if you have an evil heart you will fall to hell and there are many different forms of good hearts and there are many different forms of bad minds but um, there is this, uh, in Buddhism, uh, it's said that there, the mind connects to 3,000 different worlds. So there's probably even more than that, but there's that many varieties of thoughts that could occur in our minds. And depending on that, uh, after death, you go to heaven and hell, depending on that, like the whole accumulation of it, the whole sum of the different thoughts you had, the average, and you kind—I of, guess you flat it out and average it, and it really depends on where you go to. But um, the most important thing, though, is this is not something that relates to um, after death, but it relates to us in our daily lives because, like I said earlier, heaven and hell already exists in your mind, depending on the thoughts you have. So if you're living with the heavenly heart that manifests into your life as happiness, a healthy relationship, a healthy body, um, a good occupation, uh, a good income, and wealth, uh, all of this is inter, it's connected. But if you, uh, oppositely, uh, if you live with a negative heart, that means that you're attracting and you're living in hell and you're amplifying that negative energy and it's going to manifest into your life in many different forms. So um, this truth, again, yet again, it's a very profound uh, teaching, I believe, that Master has been constantly uh, teaching us. And it's kind of hard to disagree. It just absolutely makes sense. It's absolutely fair. Uh, God has given us the freedom to think of anything, but it comes with consequences, right? And that consequences, you are you can reap those consequences because you're the person who has the sole responsibility of what you're going to reap. You reap what you sow is true, is the ultimate um, undying truth. Uh, that is, ends today's words of wisdom. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Let me quote it again to end it off. Heaven and hell exist in the same world we live in. The other world coexists with this world because our inner worlds are connected to the invisible world from the essence of Buddha by Master Yohokawa. Thank you guys for listening and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.